Okay, RM 2017 winter, November 1st. Today I got this guy. Uh, sushi G. Came beat up. But, I, that's okay. And, instructions if you want to see what to put into it. I could never find sushi gray fish so I'm just making okay so I cooled down the rice I already used this it works pretty well the nori so yeah like I was saying before my battery died uh, <laughs> instructions I don't know so I never see uh, fish labeled uh, Sushi grade or tuna labeled that in this store. I tried looking up what sushi grade fish even meant. So it's really just like a safety kind of term that they use, but I don't feel like I want to use frozen fish. It might be, might not be sushi grade. So I'm just sticking a crab, so crab tuna, tuna from can probably. They could make your own. Uh, uh, so about the build, if you want something more sturdy, you would have to probably put in ten or fifteen dollars to buy one of the better sushi molds, but. For this, for under 10 bucks, under 7 bucks, still pretty good. The, the clips aren't reliable. Uh, but it makes a lot of sushi though. I don't eat that much uh, raw fish, so I, I don't know. Crab meat for me is okay. You can make your own, you know. So. Good thing about these types of little gadgets, pretty neat. I made more rice than I have to, because I know this takes up a lot of rice. I'm trying different rice as well. Now I just put our uh, rice vinegar into it, and that's about it. So that's how it looks. I don't know what this thing is called. Everybody gives it a different name. We may all name it a stick. I don't know. So I'll put that together in a second. But I'll show you how it looks like. It will overflow if you put too much in, but again, this build. For some people it might not be good, so you might have to invest in one of the better molds. But you have to pay probably up to 20 bucks for those. So for this it's pretty good, RM. Thanks for watching, I'll show you how it looks like. How much it comes out. Okay, so I got my nori sheet. This goes over the whole sheet. I put a little cap on. I'm just going to turn it till it starts to uh, pull up the shape inside. You'll see it uh, come out of the sides, like now. Um, yeah, it's mold, it's kind of iffy, but I don't really care about that. It works. Because <laughs> I need a dry strip. Up, so, 
water. Tricky with the cutting. Keep that. Better one. Go smaller. get to you when that's all done I need to wipe the blade or it's gonna get squished like a bread okay so it works okay with cold rice I think rice right away it works okay but depends on the rice so this was a uh, sticky rice so I might try it next time few more veggies but I'm gonna probably stick with the crab meat until I find uh, fish that says it's uh, sushi grade until then I'll just keep using uh, crab meat RM thanks for watching sushi day I like this one a lot better than that small one I had it but str struggle with this small one even this is a struggle but it's a lot better Alright, thanks for watching November 1st sushi, Japanese sushi roll with crab meat and uh, mayonnaise. And that's about it. A little bit of rice vinegar, nothing much more added to this. So you can probably store one or two rolls if you squish them together in Tupperware, but I don't know how long they would last in the fridge because it's fish or crab meat. Alright, thanks for watching. November 1st, winter. Clean up time.